Well, Roxanne Darling has had over 2 million downloads of her very original daily Hawaiian Beach Walks with Rox videos. Hi, Rox. Hey, aloha, Grant. Nice to be with you. Nice to be with you, too. Apparently, this all started by accident. Yes, completely. We, uh, my partner, secret cameraman Shane and I have a web company, and so we like to try the new things. And we, of course, wanted to try video podcasting and decided, uh, keep it simple, we go to the beach every day, and we thought we would just shoot some footage from the beach, and I would walk and talk. Within less than two weeks, we had viewers in 70 countries, and we had some of the video uh, networks contacting us to be part of their, um, you know, stable of shows. And we go, whoa, I guess we have something here. And I, I love doing it. You know, the audience is wonderful. And being able to share this little bit of paradise is really very, very special. It's, it's, very, it's very clever. I see your dog Lexi just made a little exit out the door behind you there. And he must love you for doing the show every day, getting beach walks, eh? Quite literally. Oh, yes. That, Lexi really is the star of the show. People send her treats and letters and cards and... You know, there have been a lot of health studies about animals really having healing powers and, you know, they take animals into hospitals and when people pet them, their blood pressure goes down and she's kind of our virtual uh, virtual nurse that way. Right. So I didn't actually realize that uh, the response was that quick and that there were video networks. I mean, is the show syndicated onto, onto some of the, the cable networks or community channels or...? No, but we, we never have actually been able to sign a deal. Um, you know, very early on, Podshow contacted us, but we didn't like all of the terms of their contract. And uh, since then, a couple of other networks have contacted us, and we haven't really found a good fit for us. We are out here in the middle of the universe and a little bit quirky in terms of our main goal is, you know, was not originally to make a business out of it. And so we've been a little bit more precious about protecting um, the mood. You know, people, I didn't know this, of course, in the beginning, but what I've learned after two and a half years is that people watch us very habitually, either at the start of their day or the end of their day, and they do it to chill out and de-stress. And so that means we have, I want to be very careful about not sticking, you know, you're listening to GoDaddy you know, or something. Um, and that's the downside, really, of participating with the network is that you, you pretty much get the ads that they sell to all the shows, whether they fit with your content or not. So, um, so if there's an approximate sort of format for the show, how would you describe that? Well, I would say, um, you know, in terms of the format is that I show up at the beach and I walk for about three or four minutes and try and just share stream of consciousness, uh, something that's on my mind, but I'm committed to ending on a positive thought. Uh, some people write me and they go, oh, you know, I wish my life were like that. And I go, you know, my life isn't like this. This is why I come down here for myself as well um, to basically you know, train myself into remembering on a daily basis, you know, this stuff doesn't matter, the clients can get upset, the, you know, electricity can go up and be more expensive, but at the end of the day, we do get to go to the beach and remember that, um, you know, it's just another day. So, In terms of, um, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to ask, um, are you an avid reader yourself, or do you have to specifically research some of the content that you cover? I almost never research anything, um, and I'm very, very grateful for the show notes because uh, a lot of times I actually prefer to go in the morning um, before I've had my coffee or my shower, but that's when I like to be at the beach. And so I often don't have a oh, yeah. developed thought. I have seven minutes between our house and the beach, and that's usually when I kind of chew on something for the day. And um, as often as not, I get to, you know, as I'm editing the show at night, add a little text on the screen or maybe in the show notes say, you know, what I was really trying to say this morning and I was a little foggy is wonk. So you know, it's, a, it's a nice combination of being able to have the website along with, you know, the actual video episode itself to, to tie something together. But still, that, that's, that's great broadcasting talent if you're kind of ad-libbing your way through that. And it's been over 600 episodes. Uh, did you ever have, do any professional gigs before this? Uh, no, I didn't. I did have, uh, I did do a lot of public speaking. So I definitely, 
have some muscle memory from doing that, but um, not in terms of doing any camera work or newscasting or anything of that sort, no. I, uh, I'm lucky to have the gift of gab. <laughs> And uh, the show has won a whole bunch of um, awards on, on the web, etc. What, what's been the biggest accolade so far? Well, I, I think probably the biggest is we won three vloggies, which were the original video blog awards that we have, Big Ceremony in San Francisco. And we were lucky in that we won in a couple of different categories, and we also won from the um, basically the curated episodes. There were judges panel. We won from the judges and then we also won popular vote from the People's Choice. So we really felt, um, you know, very honored that we, we had the critics as well as the, the peeps uh, who decided they liked us. Exactly. It's, it's great getting that recognition. So, I mean, what is it that keeps you doing? Because it's a long time it's a, and also a daily commitment is, is, is a real commitment. Um, mm -hmm. What what keeps you, you doing it so consistently, would you say? I would have to say it's the feedback from the audience. Um, you know, we get the most fabulous comments on our site. We don't get any it's negative comments, and that's, yeah. that, that's almost unheard of, really, on the Internet. Oh, yeah. There's usually yeah. a, a flamer around somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, you know, now that I know that people really... We, we've had some very touching stories of people going through cancer, who people have been dealing with depression, um, you know, all kinds of very, very um, difficult situations in life, and that we can bring a little bit of sunshine and a little Lexi smile to people. Um, I love that. I just love that. I, I would like to basically do just beach walks, and, you know, that's my goal one of these days, to yeah. just carve out a little bit more time so that we're not always doing it at 9 or 10 o'clock at night. 